This function, or this problem is to write a function called product of array, which takes in an array of numbers and returns the product of them all. So for example, if you had an array with the values uh, five, let's say six and two, then this would return back to us a uh, 60, right? Because five times six is 30, times two is 60, right? So this is a lot like the other problems. We're gonna have a base case as with all recursive functions. So if our array, which is the parameter of our function, is the length of it is equal to one, then our base case is going to, or let's say the length of it is equal to zero. Then we're gonna return one, right? So, um, what we're gonna do, if the length of our array isn't one, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the very first element of our array, which is array zero. So in this case, it would be um, number five, it would be five, right? So we're gonna take the array at element zero, and then we're going to multiply it times the recursion of, uh, we're gonna recurse with the value of whatever um, our array is, the length of this, and we're gonna slice out that first element of the array. So this assumes that you understand how slice works. So we're gonna take our array, we're gonna call the slice method, and we're gonna slice off that first element. So that means that we're gonna have a remaining, remaining uh, array that's one less element than the original. So if we were to look at this on our call stack, and um, so this is the solution right here. And if we were to look at this on our call stack and we call product of array with the value of five, six, and two. So we have an array of five, six, and two. Then uh, we would, this would be tested and the length is not one or zero. So um, we would continue on in the method and then we would return, uh, what this is saying is return um, the array at zero, so that's five, times the recursion. So we're gonna recurse, and this time we're gonna slice off the first element of our array. So uh, we get six and two as the new argument, or the, yeah, the new argument for this function. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, recurse here, or we're gonna call this function again with this argument right here. So now we're gonna test to see if the length of our array is zero, um, which it's not. So we're going to skip to this part right here. We take the very first element of our argument, which is six, and we're gonna multiply it times the product of the array. Um, and this time our, uh, we're gonna slice off the first element of our argument. So we're left with an array of one element. So then again, we call this function and this is not true. So then we take our uh, first element of our array, which is two, and we're gonna multiply it times um, the product of the array um, with zero elements. So now we finally get to this base case here. And it says that when we get to this base case, we're gonna return, what we're gonna return is, so this right here is gonna return one into this spot right here, right? So what we get is two times one. This was called when we were trying to figure this out. So the, the product, the value of this right here is actually this right here, right? So now we can say six, and since we know the value of this right here, which is the value here, then we can say this is going to be six, times two, uh, six times two, right? Um, so this is 12. And so now this function right here, this whole thing was here was called, sorry about that, when we were trying to figure this out right here. So that means that we now have the solution to this, which is the 12. So now we get five times 12 which is 60, which is a solution to this right here.